Hi guys, um, this is a video about one of the secrets to health, which everyone knows a little bit about, uh, which is attitude, mind, what, what role your mind plays in healing. And um, it's a very important role, so I want to just discuss that a little bit and give you some, some methods of improving your attitude, because you don't have to be stuck with your attitude. It's very easy to have a kind of a negative attitude when things are going really wrong in your life. And let's face it, if you've got cancer or multiple sclerosis or some other serious disease, it's quite easy to go down that route of feeling feeling negative. But it's very important that we don't stay there for too long. So I'm gonna give you two major secrets um, to keeping a positive attitude. The first, I think is the most important, is whatever else you do, it's really important that you find a purpose and a passion in your life. If you like, a reason to live. You must, must, must do something with your life that you are really excited about or you can become really excited about, really passionate about. That has been my personal salvation. I made a decision a long time ago that I would only do things that I felt really strongly about that were really worthwhile. And when you start to think about what you can do with your life that, that might fit that, um, that category, usually it ends up being something where you're helping other people. It seems weird, but helping other people helps you. So, um, and the more people you can help and the greater help you can give to other people, the more satisfying and exciting it becomes because you become a positive force in this world. So you f it feels worthwhile, your life is worth living because you are doing something to change other people's lives in a positive way. Now that can be done in many, many different ways. We've all got different gifts, we've all got different desires and you've got to find yours. For me, it's helping people with their health and also with their wealth. Uh, although I've concentrated on the health, the other part is also coming more into play in my life, and I love both. So helping people in whatever way you can. Maybe you're a comedian. Maybe you can make people laugh. Maybe you can make things that, that bring people joy. I don't know. I don't know what your gifts are. But find something that allows you to refine purpose in your life. Maybe you can help other people with the disease that you have. If you have a disease... If you have cancer or if you have fibromyalgia, you can join others and journey together and help those people. You've, you've got insight that maybe no one else has got. So I don't know. Find something. That is the key. Okay, so second, second tip um, is, you know, our minds are amazing things. And um, how we look at things can totally change our experience of those things. And our minds can get into bad habits or good habits. And bad habits would include looking at things in a negative light. So always seeing the negative side of things. And we need to be trying to see the positive side of things. But how do we practically do that? So I'm going to give you a secret. Here's what you need to do. I want you to take a notepad. can be can be a, a smartphone that you use or anything that you can keep notes. Something you can keep on you at all times. And what you're going to do is you're going to make a note of every positive thing that happens to you in that day. And you need to do at least five. You want five positive things that happen to you in that day. It doesn't have to be major things. It can be small, it can be big, but here's the thing. In order to do that, you have to start to look for the positive things that are going on in your day. Okay, and you need to write them down at the time, not wait till the end of the day and think back. At the time. And as you're, tr as you're looking through your day to find the positive things, guess what? Your mind gets retrained and starts to look for the positive in, in, in your day. And if you do that for a few months, you'll naturally start to be looking for the positive. It doesn't mean you ignore the negatives, but what you look for, you end up seeing more of and getting more of, okay? That's just how it happens. You see it more, you feel it more, it changes the way you think, it ch which changes the way you feel. Okay, so those are my tips for today on how to change your attitude, how to have a much happier and more positive experience in your day. And if you do that, you're going to give yourself the best possible chance of having the right frame of mind for healing. I will throw one quick more one one more quick one in. 
find reasons to laugh. Watch old comedies. Hang about with people that make you laugh. But laugh. Find things that make you laugh and go and get and, and draw and go to them. Okay? Laughter, they say, is the best medicine. It's an awesome, awesome way of again helping your body. So three tips. I didn't even expect to do that. I was just gonna do two. Thought of that on the on the moment. Okay, so I hope that helps you. God bless you all. Bye bye.